Hey vlog, another Monday, another strong start. So let me take you through what I'm planning to do this week. As you may have seen in the last week's episode, I've been making our website and my goal this week is to have the website launched and then to have 16 sales rejections, which ties into our overall November goal of 50 sales rejections. Why sales rejections is a KPI rather than calls booked because it's a reframing to help you just start actually doing it because in total reality, you're gonna do a hundred outreach messages with potentially one or two of those signing up. So instead you're just focusing on the process of actually getting it. But first of all, what are we doing? Well, it's Monday, so we're doing marketing. I actually have set days for stuff now. So marketing always on a Monday and a Tuesday. We then do sales on a Wednesday and Thursday. Friday is usually reflection, but I also hold the morning for anything that I want to do. And I have my week review and my coaching, which kind of finishes it all off really nicely. Having like set days for marketing and sales helps me get into a bit of a routine. I've also overworked my marketing system, so I'll show you how these get planned now. So in my production tab of Coda, I've got a template that I can always go through, which allows me to help me in my writing now. I have an idea bin where I have loads of ideas of content that I can sort of post. And then as I go through, I'm just writing out posts. So once we've written it, it then goes into the pipeline and then Verity, my VA, can then take those content pieces and post them for me in the morning. There's a lot to do. <laughs> I uh, then also have this little tracker where I can just see what videos we're currently making, whether they're in research, script writing, editing, we can just drag these around as well. If you don't have something like this vlog, I would recommend setting up some sort of hub where you can manage and track all of this. I know there's apps out there and you guys will tell me that there are apps that we can use, but you have to pay a subscription for these. And I tend to find with Coda now, especially the considering that they're expanding the uh, stuff that the platform can do that it works as like a social media planner, as a task manager, as anything really. But yeah, my, my biggest tip here would be make sure you have some sort of process where your content's going through a research, writing, and then putting together the final bits because I was just doing this freehand when I started marketing at the beginning of September and it was chaotic. <laughs> So vlog, I'm now trying to just update my space to be a bit more YouTuber friendly. I'm taking all the stuff down from the wall and putting it over here so it's out of shot. I wanna put a black backdrop up so I look a little bit more professional when I've got videos of people. I've just bought some new mounts so that I can start recording with, where is it? So I can start recording with this bad boy. So hopefully the content, the, the quality is gonna go up quite a bit. I'll still do the vlog on this video, on this, on this phone because it's just a lot easier to run and gun with it but i'll have this set up in a more permanent space now so i'm just going to take all of this stuff down so step two is to set up this top as a backdrop i'm just gonna pin it to the top We'll see how that goes. Crazy thing we've got to do to make content these days, but I want to up the production value, so we have to do it. It's like we've got no fun tag, so um, off to Tesco I go, our local supermarket to try and find some. So this one doesn't sell fun tags or pins. So I've now got to go and try and find another store that does sell them. Long. <laughs> Tent number two, so we can find some. It's not down this aisle from what I can see. Found these, but they're not really what I want, and I don't need the paper clips and I don't need these. This supermarket didn't have any in it either, so I'm gonna try a stationary store in town. I probably should just start there in the first place. I'm not trolling, that's store number three. <laughs> I still can't find any. We can try this place now. Yeah. That took so long. Four stores all together, two supermarkets. 
one small store and then finally we got it from the fourth one so happy right so now we can actually finish setting this all up So you guys didn't see this, but there was a couple of times where I was on this chair and very nearly fell off. It was a bit crazy. But here we go. Fully black backdrop now. I'm not too sure about these creases though. I might have to bloody iron it, which may mean taking it all down. Yeah, this should look really good for YouTube videos moving forward, LinkedIn videos, and then plan is as well is to put my camera up here. We're slowly getting there in terms of office setup. I also bought this divider from Ikea to put our paper and documents in, which has made things a little bit easier. And I'm just putting what I'm currently reading at the moment down here. Yeah, would you guys want to do, would you want to see a oh, <laughs> office tour video? Let me know in the comments if that's something that in, is, sounds interesting. So this morning we've got to edit the vlog, then I've got to put together a video production. I then got a 10 minute networking presentation where I'm telling people about what we do. Then more planning for the YouTube video I want to put out this week. Then this afternoon, I'm going to see somebody about potentially getting some branding done for the agency. A busy day. <laughs> So now I'm giving a presentation to a networking group I'm part of. I'm gonna introduce a little bit about my company and then I'm going to do the website strategy that we do for messaging. So I'm just gonna give them a little taste of what it's like to work with me. Then I'll tell them about our prices and what we can do for them. Morning vlog. Today we're doing two days straight sales, pretty much. And I have to go and visit a client's place to teach some of their new staff members how to use the website. That is today. Uh, this afternoon, we've got a branding company talking to me as well because I'm looking at getting some branding done for the studio. We're about to go live. Uh, I'll show you guys my new setup I've been putting together. Really focusing on content now. So I've got my DSLR hooked up to the Mac T. <laughs> and um, the microphone as well. I use a Yeti Nano for videos and meetings. I would recommend it if you guys want to get a basic startup one. As you saw earlier this week, I set up this black backdrop as well. I've got some fairy lights on their way uh, somewhere. Um, They're gonna come so I can put those up in the back as well. And then I wanna get some colored lights just to up the production value. Morning vlog. So I want to get to the point where I'm at 3000 connections. That's the sweet spot on LinkedIn, apparently for your content to be seen by loads of people, but also to get loads of engagement. And who knows, maybe Samantha knows somebody who needs a website. And by seeing my content, she really enjoys the video and therefore then recommends me to somebody in her network. My goal is to make more content this year and going into 2022. So more YouTube videos, but at a higher production value as well. So we finished the week of strong vlog. I got the website done, which was really great. And all our content is on here. I'm gonna slowly be adding to this as we move forward over the weeks. But the main idea here was to focus on content rather than design. I'm really happy with this website. And now I feel like I can just add to it rather than feeling like I need to redesign the website every time. Don't know about you guys, but we've gone through like so many <laughs> redesigns. Whereas I just wanna stick with one website now and just build on top of it. So that's going to be the goal moving forward. I really appreciate everybody who watches this vlog and continues to turn up. I can see in the analytics that some people are watching this weekly and that's really positive and keeps me going. I wanted to say that if you aren't subscribed, please consider doing so. At the moment, 50% of the people who watch my videos aren't subscribed. And if you could give me any ideas on how I can improve this series, Please let me know down in the comments and I will try to do my best. Until then, next time, see you soon. Bye.